Hi, this is Eric with the California Climbing School, and I promised that I would show you in an earlier video how to free your hands. So I'm going to show you three different ways to do that. So the first way is kind of the old school way. So I've got Ben on a top rope, right? So his weight is pulling me up. I can bring the rope underneath my butt and then wrap it around my thigh several times. I can kind of have the first wrap be mid-thigh and then a couple more wraps working my way towards my groin. There we go, hands free, okay? Then I could snap a photo or start doing some kind of rescue procedure like um, a belay escape. So obviously put your brake hand on first before you start undoing the wraps, okay? So another way that you can do it is you can free your hands by taking the brake strand and passing it through the carabiner and then tying a mule knot here, like so. So I'm gonna bring it around the load strand and that's no good, we gotta get the twist. And then we're gonna take a bite and push it through that loop going around the load and then get the mule knot right there. You don't want the mule knot out here because your partner will get lowered a little bit. And then pull out about a foot and a half so that you've got enough to tie an overhand, which is this. Okay, an overhand is not is not this pulling down. It's the one where it goes up and back out. Okay, and try and keep everything nice and close to your ATC so that you have minimum slippage. Okay, so just one last variation. Um, watch how I can pinch here, and I can release without dropping my partner at all. Okay, so the last one would be. Take the brake strand. Obviously, we can't tie it off with a mule knot up here unless it's locked off. So that's why we're bringing the brake through the carabiner so it's in a locked off position. And then we could give it a twist right here and then take this bite and feed it through that loop and then pull enough slack through and tie an overhand around the load strand. Okay? So. There you go, three ways to free your hands. And then once again, to break it down, you can pop that out and nothing happens. Nothing really happens until you release the mule knot. So be ready. Okay, and sometimes there's a little pop. You can warn your partner pop, and then you can lower or go back to the leg. There you go.